but denial of a problem and the denial to address that problem is perhaps one of the reasons but investors have zero faith in the policies of this government which is evident in the economic collapse and the rupee in a free fall one thing is absolutely clear that the prime minister and his army of psychophants who used to worry a lot about the rupee when it was at 58 refuse to utter a word when the rupee has breached 80. the spin drop silence is not going to resolve the problem and quite evidently there are two big reasons for the rupee to fall the falling rupee is a consequence of a ruined economy and high inflation but the government once again seems absolutely directionless and i don't think it will be wrong to say that he who thought he was the solution to everything that ailed india before he came in in his mind or perceptionally is proving to be extremely toxic for the indian economy for the indian rupee and the prestige of our currency thank you we'll take questions on this g The first and the immediate step that has to be taken by the government is to accept that the rupee is in a free fall. To wake up and smell the coffee, the rupee has crossed 80 to a dollar mark. It's a huge, huge breach of the rupee. It's making life tough for children who study overseas. It's making life tough for our domestic uh, audience, our domestic um, uh, industries. It's going to make life tough for every Indian because it's going to raise prices further. So first, admit that the rupee is in a free fall. Look for reasons why this is happening. Prima facie, high inflation and a ruined economy is one of the reasons. What is the government doing to address high inflation? And it's a vicious cycle. The costlier the rupee, the higher the inflation, the higher the inflation, it feeds into the rupee breaching and stooping even lower. So one has to understand, what is the government's game plan? The government seems to be in denial. We just heard the finance minister uh, say that we are watching and, you know, it's all right. Uh, it's happening to the... How many reasons are you going to fight to hide behind? You, you want to hide behind Corona. Now you want to hide behind a global crisis. Third, you want to hide behind Russia, Ukraine. But please learn from lessons of the past. In 2013, Congress Sarkar ne taper tantrum ke do rupay ko mazboot banaye rakha hum zyada nivesh lekar aaye humne zyada growth karke dikhai aur hum uska damb nahi bharte sarkaron ka ye kaam hai karna reserve bank kuch kar raha hai sarkar kuch kar rahi hai admission hi nahi ho raha hai ki problem hai isliye samasya itna vikral roop le rahi hai lekin us samasya ko bhugatna is desh ke har deshwasi ko padega samasya ye hai any other questions on the rupee ji we are taking questions only on the rupee because this is a very important topic, not talking on anything else. We'll take a question, another question, another Any other questions on the rupee? Dekhi, rupee is 80 ke par hai, aur sanshay ye hai ki aye 100 tak bhi girne diya jayega, ya sarkar jagegi, kyunki sarkar abhi to bhot subt lag rahi hai rupee par. Ek shabd, ek statement sarkar ki or se aya nahi hai, jo sarkar ke charan chumbak hai, wo samjhane ki koshish kar rahe hai, कैसे ये वैश्विक कारणों से हो रहा है वैश्विक कारण तो हमेशा से रहते थे 2013 में भी थे अभी भी थे 2013 में सरकार ने आरबीआई के साथ मिलकर रुपए को संभाला निवेश बढ़वाया विदेशी निवेश आया ग्रोथ बढ़ी आप क्या कर रहे हैं हर पैरामीटर पे इकोनॉमिक पैरामीटर पर ये सरकार विफल है लेकिन उसके बाद भी किस दंभ और किस तरह से सीना ठोककर ये झूठ बोलते हैं ये इन्हीं के बस की बात है if no questions on the rupee, we'll call it a day. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, ये आपको बता दे कि कांग्रेस की नेता सुप्रिया सिंहात हैं वो गिरते हुए रुपए पर केंद्र सरकार को निशाना साध रहे थे उन्होंने कहा कि जो इस वक्त रुपए की हालत हो गई है जितना इस तरह पर गिर गया है उसकी वजह है कि जो अर्थव्यवस्था उतल पुतल हो गई है और महंगाई इसका एक कारण है लेकिन सरकार जो है ये मानने को ही तैयार नहीं है इसीलिए उन्होंने कहा कि सरकार को
मंथ सबसे पहले ये मानना चाहिए कि रुपए में बड़े स्तर पर गिरावट हो रही है और फिर मंथन करना चाहिए कि इसकी वजह क्या है उन्होंने ये भी कहा कि इस वजह से लोगों की मुश्किलें जरूर बढ़ रही हैं खास तौर पर जो छात्र हैं वो विदेशों में पढ़ने के लिए जाते हैं तो उनके लिए भी ये बहुत बड़ी समस्या है जिस तरीके से महंगाई बढ़ रही है और रुपया गिर रहा है और साथ में सरकार पर यह भी सवाल उठाया कि बार बार वैश्विक कारणों का हवाला दिया जा रहा है